Hi, my name is Ashish, and in this video, we will see monitor GitHub events. We're using a webhook with Azure Functions. Webhooks offer a lightweight mechanism for the app to be notified by another service when something of interest happens. Well, in this video series, maybe a couple of next or three videos, we'll learn how to trigger an Azure function with a GitHub webhook and pass the payload for insights. Let me give you a brief introduction. So Webhooks offers a lightweight mechanism for apps to be notified by another service when something, uh, an event occurs via an HTTP endpoint. We can use a webhook to trigger an Azure function and then analyze the message to determine what happened and how to respond. So, so if we want to create a function that is triggered by a webhook, then I would have to first of all create a function app. So let me log on to the portal and take it from there. Okay, now I will click on create a resource here and I will do function app. I'll hit on create. Now I have a subscription which is available in the sandbox. You can add uh, the function app name. Mm. I'll, I'll, I'll use other func app. You can go for code. I will go with code and note JS version you can use default or 14 region you can use any which is available in the sandbox location click on hosting it let it create the storage account and i will go with the consumption serverless plan i click on no review create And I will click on, I will hit on create and it's validating. It's initializing the deployment. Deployment is in progress. So when this deployment will be completed, I will create a webhook triggered function in this function app. So let me wait and I'll pause the video. I'm gonna go to resource. I will go under functions. I will click on add and I will add a function here. I will use HTTP trigger. Click on add here after selecting the HTTP trigger. It will come up here. And if you go under code and test, it will come up with the JavaScript function. This, this is the one. If I change it to index.js, this is the default function that you get. This is the default JavaScript function, which is generated by the portal. And uh, it reads a name either passed in as a query string or as part of the request body. So in the path above the code box from the dropdown, select function.json and you will see this bindings and everything else. The binding specifies that the function is triggered by HTTP GET and POST. Now, if you want to test triggering the function, you can click on GET function URL, copy it.
and if I open up the in private window and paste the URL here this HTTP trigger function executed successfully pass a name in the query string or in the request body for the personalized response and I can give it a name here and if I just at the end of it I'll write and name it says hello Ashish this HTTP function executed successfully okay now congratulations we have now a function that can be triggered by a URL now we have to set up a webhook for a github repository so in github webhooks can be set upon an organization or a specific repo the webhook will be triggered each time one or more subscribed event occurs for example the event allows the golem event allows you to listen for wiki updates specifically a creation and updates for a wiki page so now we will learn how to set up a webhook listing for a change even from the company's github wiki now i will set up a webhook for a github repo i will log on to my github account let's see if i'm able to log in successfully it picks up my okay I got an email from I have to verify let me go to my gmail ID it's verifying okay I am successfully logged on to github account now I will create a new repo and I will type in the name as learn webhook test it's available and uh, I will select the public I will make it public I will do create repo the repo is created I see the quick setup page I will select create a quick file link so it says get started by creating a new file I will click on here I'm creating a new file under this new repo that I've created and here I click on wiki I see the welcome page I will do create the first page welcome to the wiki and save page okay now I'll add a webhook for the golem event the golem event is the name of the event in github that is fired whenever a page in the repository wiki is created or updated so in the right right in the right pages box select home to return click on home so it is now I am at the home page of my repo under on the top select settings now click on webhooks click on add webhook
this is the payload URL so I am going to set it to the URL of my function uh, function that I function URL that I just pasted uh, that I copied from the Azure function that I created right so in the content type drop down let's select application JSON in the section which events would you like to trigger this web book select let me select secret let me select individual events and when you click on select let me scroll down and select the wiki checkbox no down, down 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 wiki page updated make sure that no other checkbox is selected like this one okay please make sure that this active option is also selected and click on add webhook okay verify that your new webhook appears when the webhook page reappears you see this webhook okay you can edit it you can delete it you can add a webhook here now if you want to test the webhook go to this wiki tab you see a... so this is the home page right select edit just type in testing webhook save the page go to settings select webhook edit scroll down scroll down to the recent deliveries these are the recent deliveries right so select the latest delivery entry and click on these ellipses you will see the header information this one request URL is this this is a post method content type this this is the event type is column event and if you would see the payload section it would contain information indicating that your wiki page was edited this was the webhook this was the login ID right now in the recent delivery section click on response you will see the response message generated by the Azure function for this example the body is the HTTP trigger function executed successfully right that is how you do it now if you want to trigger an Azure function with a github event that I will cover in the next video I hope you like this if you have any queries please mention them in the comment section and I'll see you guys in the next video thank you have a good day